What's going on guys? You already know who it is, your boy Nacolips, your boy 94, it came a leak. Today, I got a special video for you guys. I'm going to give you guys my top 10 greatest superstars of all time list. No particular order, it'd be too hard to put them in order to me. Um, maybe a little controversial, because, you know, some superstars that other people would have on the list, I may not have on, on this list. Um, and I'll explain why I have all these people on my list for particular reasons. This is who I truly believe. These are the top 10 greatest superstars of all time. This is what I truly believe is my opinion. Uh, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below about your top 10s. I'm interested to see all your top 10s. Uh, I want to see everybody's top 10s. Leave your comments below. Check out the jacket. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this dude love chalk line jacket, baby. Look at that. And it got the Ric Flair shirt on, too. We dripped out all today. We dripped out all wrestling gear today, baby. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comments below, like I said, about your top 10s. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, let's start off with number 10 on my list. Number 10. To me, how can this guy not be top 10 greatest superstars of all time? I'm talking about the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Easily the top 10 greatest superstars of all time, if you ask me. Go back to his days before he went to WWF. One of the biggest attractions in Japan and all over around the world in the territorial days. He was one of the most unique, iconic figures nobody ever seen before you know he's over seven feet 500 pounds nobody ever seen anything like Andre the Giant before when he came to WWF undefeated for 15 years one of the biggest attractions one of the biggest box office attractions Vince McMahon ever had Andre was such a big attraction that there was only one guy for Hulk Hogan to beat at WrestleMania 3 1987 that changed the whole landscape of professional wrestling Vince McMahon needed that one guy that one guy that main event WrestleMania for Hulk Hogan to beat, Andre the Giant, was that perfect guy. You know, unfortunately, he passed away in 1993, but his legacy still lives on strong today in the world of professional wrestling. Still one of the most talked about wrestlers to this day. Still one of the most talked about figures to this day. So Andre the Giant, to me, easily has to be top 10. All right, let's go with number 9 on my list. Look, I know this may be controversial to some people. But I gotta go with Triple H. To me, Triple H is truly one of the greatest superstars of all time that doesn't get the respect and kudos that he deserves because he's married to Stephen McMahon. And I don't think that's fair to this man or his legacy. We can talk about one of the greatest superstars of all time. Triple H's name has to be on that list. It has to be. How can it not be? Look at how when he first came into WWF back in the 1990s as Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the blue blood, the aristocrat, transformed himself into that to going in with Shawn Michaels and a D-Generation X in the Attitude Era that helped elevate the Attitude Era in the 1990s. One of the funniest factions of all time in 2000 formed Evolution with Ric Flair, Randy Orton, and Batista. One of the greatest factions of all time that helped elevate the future right there. It's probably one of the greatest rivalries of all time with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They have had epic, epic matches over their careers. Then he had another great rival with Stone Cold Steve Austin. They had great chemistry together, great storytelling. They also had great matches together in their past. And then he had great rivalries with The Undertaker. They had two epic back-to-back -back, uh, matches at WrestleMania. And then, of course, now he's an executive. He's building the future of wrestling as we speak right now. Help elevating the future of wrestling so it's still around. He's got NXT, the best brand that WWE has right now. He's giving us the best brand on a silver platter. And, of course, he still wrestles time and time again. But Triple H, to me, has to be top 10. All right, let's go with number eight on my list. Honestly, if you'd asked me this a couple years ago, I may not have had this guy on my list, but I got to go with Chris Jericho. Thinking about it, honestly, Chris Jericho is one of the greatest superstars of all time. He had one of the most epic, iconic debuts in professional wrestling history in 1999. Of course, that epic segment interrupting The Rock. He's one of the very few people to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with The Rock on the mic and succeed. They had epic promo battles in the past. He had an epic match with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 19, and of course, their epic rivalry in 2008. That was, that was absolutely fabulous. The first ever undisputed champion in professional wrestling history. Who would ever thought Chris Jericho would have been the first undisputed champion he's a nine-time intercontinental champion held the intercontinental title more times than any wrestler in wwe history he's been able to evolve and stay relevant with his character over the years in wrestling 2008 with suit and tie chris jericho the biggest heel in the company from 2012 2018 he had the light-up jacket that got over like crazy with fans and then of course his last run in wwe Come on, man. He got a list over. He got the word it over. He got a scarf over. He got stupid idiot over. That's crazy. After being in WWE for years, leaves WWE and goes over to New Japan Pro Wrestling and became a big star over in New Japan. Became the Intercontinental Champion over in New Japan. And now he's part of A. E.W., the brand new wrestling company right now, and he's their biggest star. Chris Jericho, to me, has to be top 10 greatest superstars. All right, let's go with number seven on my list. Again, this may be controversial with some fans, but I gotta go with John Cena. 
How can John Cena not be top 10 greatest superstars of all time? Let's be real. Whether you like him or not, he's top 10. Going back to his early days of his career as the doctor of thugonomics, a white guy doing hip-hop. This got over with fans like crazy. It was fun. It was entertaining. It was absolutely great. Then after he stepped away from the doctor of thugonomics character, literally became the man the face, the franchise of the company for the next 15 years. He's the most polarizing superstar of all time. Whether you love John Cena or you hate John Cena, he always got a reaction. That's important. And of course, his epic rivalry with Randy Orton. Probably his greatest rival over the years. They had epic classic matches over the years from the I Quit match. The Hell in a Cell matches. The two Hell in a Cell matches they had. The TLC match they had. His epic rivalry with Edge. The epic TLC match they had together. From 2006 to 2009, they had epic classic matches together. They had a great chemistry together, great storytelling between the two. These two were literally made for each other to have a great rivalry. And then, of course, his epic rivalry with CM Punk in the summer of 2011. That build-up to the Money in the Bank match, one of the most exciting build-ups of all time. You know, the uh, Raw 1000 match they had when John Cena cashed in Money in the Bank. And, of course, John Cena is a 16-time world champion, tying the record of Ric Flair. Only one man in history can say he's a 16-time champion. That's Ric Flair. And, of course, now he's... No longer around as much, but John Cena, to me, has to be top 10 great superstars of all time. All right, let's go with number six on my list. Honestly, this guy could probably be on the Mount Rushmore of wrestling. I got to go with Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, come on. This is not even going to be a debate for people. He's easily top 10 greatest superstars of all time. Literally could be the most popular superstar in professional wrestling history. Changed the whole landscape of wrestling. Hulk Hogan was wrestling in the 1980s. There was nobody like Hulk Hogan before. Think about his epic rivalry with Macho Man and Randy Savage, the Mega Powers. The build-up that they had to that WrestleMania the whole year. A great, great showdown between the two. Hulk Hogan literally was professional wrestling in the 1980s and early 1990s. Then think about his epic showdown with Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3. Like I said, Andre the Giant was the perfect guy for Hulk Hogan to beat at WrestleMania. That body slam right there changed wrestling forever. Changed wrestling forever. Hulk Hogan was the guy to beat Andre the Giant, and it changed wrestling. Then you think about when he went to WCW, forming the end. W.O. The New World Order. That shook up the entire world of wrestling right there. Hulk Hogan as a bad guy. Who would ever thought? That was one of the greatest things that ever happened in wrestling. Then, of course, you know, he came back to WWE in the later years. Had a great, great run there. But Hulk Hogan is easily one of the top 10 greatest superstars of all time. A living, breathing icon in wrestling. A living, breathing legend in wrestling. Hulk Hogan is top 10. Alright, let's go with number 5 on my list. This guy right here is a man of many nicknames. And I think you know who I'm talking about. Sean Michaels, the heartbreak kid, the showstopper, the headliner, the icon, the main event. Shawn Michaels is easily the greatest in-ring performer of all time and easily top 10 greatest superstars ever. Shawn Michaels could have a match with a broomstick and it'd be a five-star match. That's how great Shawn Michaels truly was back in his day. Of course, we all know he's one of the part of the greatest tag teams of all time, the Triple H and D-Generation X, that really helped elevate the Attitude Era back in the 1990s. His epic rivalry with Bret the Hitman Hart. This rivalry right here is one of the top 10 greatest rivalries of all time because it was real between the two. The heat was real between Shawn and Bret. Their epic match at WrestleMania 12, the first ever Iron Man match. And then, of course, you know, his epic rivalry with The Undertaker, the first ever Hell in a Cell match they had. The best Hell in a Cell match of all time, if you ask me. Then, of course, to top it all off, the streak versus career match at WrestleMania 26, 2010 that topped off Shawn Michaels' epic career. When you talk about the best in-ring performer ever, when you talk about a guy that's go out there and do it and steal the show every single time, Shawn Michaels is that guy. Like I said, he could have a match with the broomstick and to be a five-star match. Shawn Michaels is easily top 10. All right, number four on my list. Number four, I got to go with the legend himself. I got to go with The Undertaker. This guy could be on the Mount Rushmore wrestling too, man. Undertaker is like the godfather of wrestling, the leader of the locker room. Undertaker is a living, breathing legend in professional wrestling. He's also been able to evolve his character over the years. You know, the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker was a great version of The Undertaker that fans love. The American Badass Undertaker, the real-life version of The Undertaker with motorcycles and bandanas. This is the real-life Undertaker. His epic rivalry with Kane. The story, the story that they told between these two was one of the best stories in professional wrestling history they could have done. Epic, epic stuff, epic television stuff right there. His epic rivalry with Brock Lesnar. They had two great Hell in a Cell matches together. Classic matches back in 03. Who can ever forget? Brock Lesnar ending the streak at WrestleMania 30, the most shocking moment in professional wrestling history. His great rivalry with Batista, one of my favorite rivalries of all time. They had great matches together, a great match at WrestleMania. 
this great Hell in a Cell match right here, the last man standing match they had. Undertaker has had great rivalries over the year. He's accomplished everything in wrestling from Royal Rumbles, main eventing WrestleMania, the greatest streak in wrestling history, world title wins, and he's still relevant to this day. The dead man still lives on. Undertaker is easily top 10. All right, number three on my list. How are we not going to have the most electrifying superstar in sports entertainment, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, easily, easily top 10 greatest superstars of all time. Thinking back to his days in the Nation of Domination that got him over as the biggest heel in the company, one of the greatest factions of all time. His tag team with Mick Foley and the Rock and Sock Connection, one of the funniest entertaining tag teams of all time. The Rock is the greatest entertainer of all time. He can evoke so much emotion out of you. He can make you laugh. He can make you cry. He can make you hate him. He can make you love him. doesn't matter. The Rock is that guy. His epic rivalry with Stone Cold Steve Austin had three classic matches at WrestleMania. Came back to wrestling to have a classic showdown with John Cena at WrestleMania 28, which is their biggest uh, box office WrestleMania of all time. This guy's box office, man. He's got money written all over him. The Rock can evoke so much emotion out of fans. It's crazy. This guy is literally, literally... Literally one of the greatest superstars of all time. Hands down, The Rock is easily top 10. All right, number two on my list. This guy, to me, is the most popular superstar of all time, if you ask me. I'm talking about the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin, to me, saved wrestling at a time when he needed to be saved. When ratings were so low in wrestling, he became such a popular superstar that he gave them their highest ratings that they have ever had. That says it all right there. His epic rivalry with Bret the Hitman Hart that changed his entire career. His epic match with Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13 that turned him into a babyface when they needed him to turn into a babyface. Because fans, he, he wanted fans to hate him and fans didn't want to hate him so they had to turn him into a babyface. His epic rivalry with Vince McMahon, the greatest rivalry of all time. You got a bald-headed, beer-drinking Texas rattlesnake that's beating the shit out of his boss every week. Nothing to hate about that. This guy is always doing crazy stuff whether he's driving his Zamboni down to the ring, jumping off the Zamboni, Beating Vince McMahon in the head. Um, the crowd's going crazy. Driving that monster truck over the rocks. Lean Continental. Great epic stuff right there. Great TV stuff. The infamous beer truck incident. One of the greatest Monday Night Raw segments of all time. Stone Cold Steve Austin is a legend. And he's easily top 10. The most popular superstar of all time. So to this day, gets a crazy reaction. And last but not least, at number one. Woo! To me, the greatest superstar of all time, the GOAT, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. In many wrestlers' eyes, he's also the greatest of all time. I mean, Ric Flair is just that guy, man. I mean, come on. There's nothing really else to say. Formed one of the greatest factions of all time. Maybe the greatest faction of all time in the Four Horsemen back in the 1980s. These guys were the biggest heels in the company. Ric Flair is one of the top heels in the company. One of the top greatest promo talkers of all time. One of the top uh, wrestlers of all time, too. In the ring, he was untouchable. Uh, his epic rivalry with Dusty Rhodes. They had great, great classic matches back in the day. His epic rivalry with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. If you haven't seen a Ricky Steamboat Ric Flair match, you're missing out, man. They had classic matches back in the day. His epic matches with Sting, one of his greatest rivals of all time. They had epic matches back in the day. And then he probably had the greatest retirement match of all time with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 28. I mean, the emotion in that match was crazy. The night after had a ceremony. That lasted literally the rest of the show on Monday Night Raw. You had people come out and crying and everything. Ric Flair is just the greatest of all time. I don't see how he couldn't be in the top 10. Woo!